I thought I'd do a little working example of the solenoid driver, just show them where I'm at. So this is a test board. Um, my PCB software has size restrictions, so one board basically drives eight, and you can daisy chain four of the boards together to get 32 solenoids. Right, so here we have microcontroller driving the solenoid driver, which is only half populated. In the background here we have two banks of LEDs. This bank pretends to be the solenoids, they activate on ground to the MOSFETs, and the front bank is basically status. We're going to see these top set of LEDs fire. This mass of wires is the watchdog. So if the microcontroller locks up, the watchdog kicks in and turns all the solenoids off and you will see the other light come on. So let me just fire up here. Up. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so let me try that again. So when it fires up, solenoid number three, which is kind of in the center of the picture, lead number three, will turn on, indicating the watchdog is active. When the lead on the far end turns on, that means the microcontroller's on, the heartbeat's going, and we're all good. And there we go. So the top two are good. Let me we'll trigger the solenoids. So if I pull the heartbeat wire, we'll see the watchdog kick in. Can't do it. And there we go. So we've now can't activate the solenoids while the watchdog is on. So we'll plug that back in. What a mess. Yeah. And we're back to active. There we go, uh, working solenoid driver.